Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Belden Jasper and I'm right here at Hell's Heroes Festival. All right, everybody, I'm here at the Hell's Hero Festival number four. We're back in Houston after a couple of years break with COVID, but the festival is on, the weather is phenomenal. Kind of glad that the shows are actually inside because Texas sun will mess with you. I think you now know to play 125,000 songs in your active bands. How do you keep up? Uh, just smoke lots of weed, stay up all night, and make sure that you don't uh, take yourself too seriously. And they'll all, they'll all find a spot in your head. All right. Is it possible for you to choose between an exciter show and a screamer show? Uh, I mean, that's like that's like picking between goddamn luck, the darns, and tricks. I mean, both are delicious. It feels awesome. It's been a long time coming, you know, with the two years of cancellations. We were very stoked to yeah, yeah. have it finally come to fruition and kick it off, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Style. So what's the hardest? Um, you know, making sure you don't sing out of key or missing out the, you know, the poses that you want to do with the band. Well, we're just having fun. <laughs> we're just having fun on stage. I just, I guess my biggest worry is keeping my voice. Yeah, 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 for sure. You can tell. It's just yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. So, uh, so Janice joined you on stage for a Rock Goddess cover, which was, you know, pretty cool. Satisfied, then crucified. That's right. Um, uh, how was that having Janice on the stage and seeing the crowd interact? It was awesome. You know, Janice and I got married last weekend. Oh, congratulations, yeah. man. Congratulations. Yeah, we recorded that song for an EP that we put out, like, uh, I think it was over COVID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think maybe 2019 or 2020. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we've been playing on stage ever since, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's awesome to like get up there and rock with her because she's got an amazing voice. Exactly. The Hell's Heroes Festival obviously became, you know, the, the gathering place for everybody who loves traditional heavy metal, and it's you know a gathering of the who's who. Uh, old band and new bands. Cool band War Cloud opened the show yesterday, and we obviously also had the phenomenal Lady Beast. My arms open wide. My and my heart to it was funny to see because obviously the previous band was running a little late. So like in in like a matter of three minutes, you went from like there's ten people in our venue to it's fucking packed. Holy shit, dude! It How was, was that? Crazy. It was crazy. Um, it can be difficult sometimes with sets like you said being so close together, things maybe running behind, yeah. and the other stage still running on time, so there's that overlap. But you're right. When we first started playing, I was like, okay, like it might not be as like packed as I thought, but like whatever. Like we're just so happy to be here, you know. Before I knew it, the room was filled. Yeah. To the brim. Oh yeah. People were telling me they had to push in or couldn't get in or. Blown away. Blown away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know that I really like your song, The Gift. Yes. And you got to play this live. This is the first time I saw you ever play this live. You looked very emotional. Yeah. Tell us about playing that song. I think because it has so much meaning in multiple ways for me. Um, one, obviously, being that it's written about my nephew, whom I love very much. But um, a lot of times, I try to write songs that everyone can relate to. Right. You know, so you don't know it's about my nephew per se, but at the end of the day, it is about the power of giving and receiving love, which I think is one of the greatest gifts anyone can receive or give. And um, I want to spread that message now more than ever um, to just make sure people are taken care of. Right. You guys played 
the warm-up show, if you will. How was that? Uh, it was killer because the weekend sold out, so everybody that couldn't get in for the weekend came for a warm-up show, and it was packed. And it was like such a good room. Really, got a really great response, and uh, yeah, it was it was awesome. It was super fun. For me, my dog has always been something that uh, we really be on borders. Yeah, I feel that that uh, Kevin Middle is a is a brotherhood that doesn't see countries and doesn't see north and south and east and west. So and it's so cool that here you see so many people that have traveled actually from Europe to, to see this yeah. festival or from wherever in the country. And, yeah, I mean for me, diversity was part of my life always. Yeah. yeah. So just yeah. to see that it's still like that. You guys are headliner of one of the stages at Hell's Heroes. A lot of people were loving it, but everybody in the band is doing a million things. Right. What can the fans expect of this project or band? Should we call it a band or a project? Oh no, it's a band. It's a real band. Uh, I mean, well, the, the LP, the album is going to come out in September, I think. That's what that's what Relapse told us. Right. We'll, we'll see. Who knows? Because of the. Uh, you know, there's like a, uh, it's like a, a vinyl kind of backup and stuff like that. We'll, we'll see what happens, but we're looking right. for September. You know what I mean? And we're definitely gonna play shows. Like, like this is more than a project. Like, we're gonna we're gonna play. Like, I would love to tour. Right. Why not? So, um, I mean, everybody in the band is extremely experienced. Like, you've all done a million things. Right. Nevertheless, this is a, a young band, a newer band. And you get bombarded to like headliner in the festival. People have a lot of expectations. Does that come with a lot of pressure? No, no, I don't. I don't feel the pressure. Like I feel the pressure to to perform and play well. But everything else, that's just noise. I don't care. You know what I mean? Like yeah. no one else in the band cares. Should we just all agree that Art for Risk is God and take oh, it from there? Yes, yes, yes. Your show, like the room was too small, like everybody wanted to see you guys play. People were lining up like crazy. How was your experience today? Uh, this is by far one of the best shows I've ever done. It was a small sweaty room packed um, in Houston, Texas at Hell's Heroes. Dude, what a, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it here. Um, now, hey, they say everything's bigger in Texas. For somebody your size, is that true? I've met three people taller than me and I'm not happy about it. <laughs> We obviously have a lot of legends playing here. Last night we had Candle Mass and we also had Dark Angel. And tonight we've got Sirif Armo. I love Riot. I'm a huge Riot fan. I've seen Riot and uh, I'm, I'm stoked to see that for sure. Riot is last is probably my band. Hell's Heroes, this was amazing, it was an awesome time. So many great bands, it's just too hard to name all the highlights. To all the people I got to meet here at the festival, it was great meeting you. Can't wait to see you all on the road, all the fans coming out. Uh, talk to you soon, see you for the next video, stay metal. You are awesome for watching this video. Click right here to see more content like it and subscribe to the channel.